So an innocent man was executed in Arkansas four years ago, and new DNA evidence has come forward that, let's just say, provides significantly more than reasonable doubt. Liddell Lee um, was murdered by the state. And just before we dive into the article I have here, a few words on the death penalty. It's entirely barbaric, and I'm ashamed to live in a society that still utilizes it. Um, I like Kyle Kalinske's argument about this. He basically says it's a paradox, right? Because if, if the position we're going to take is that uh, anyone who kills an innocent person needs to be put to death, then the second the death penalty kills an innocent person, which it does routinely, we know this and continues to, it needs to be put to death. So yeah, it's a paradox because it's it's committing murder, and yet it gets to survive, right? So I, I like that argument a whole lot. I think the death penalty needs to go even even before we get into that stuff where we talk about the technicalities of it, how it actually is logistically killing innocent people. Um, it's just barbaric on the surface to me. This idea that we are going to um, claim to have. Uh, a, a constitutional amendment against cruel and unusual punishment while we fucking kill people. Like, I'm sorry, that's just completely and totally contradictory, and we need to change it immediately. I know that that's not coming anytime soon, but that is my view on the death penalty. Anyway, to get into this specific case, this article's in Slate. I'll post this in the description box. Four years after Arkansas executed Liddell Lee, DNA points to someone else. New testing suggests a hasty death penalty case killed the wrong person. On April 20th, 2017, Liddell Lee was executed by the state of Arkansas for murder, with Lee insisting to the end that he was innocent of the crime. A new test of DNA evidence in the case, which the state refused to do before executing him, points to a different suspect than Lee. Lee, who was put to death four years ago as part of a rush in which Arkansas tried to execute eight people in 11 days so that the state could use scarce lethal injection drugs before they expired. Allow me to pause there momentarily. Arkansas decided to expedite the killing of human beings so as not to let some some lethal drugs expire. This is the country you fucking live in. If that doesn't make your blood boil, something's wrong upstairs, okay? Shame on the state of Arkansas. What an absolute outrage. People should go to prison for this. Carrying on here. In that mad dash, four men were executed, three had their execution stayed, and one was granted clemency. Lee was one of the four put to death after Neil Gorsuch, in his first vote as a member of the Supreme Court, joined a 5-4 ruling to allow the execution to proceed. Even then, Lee's case was considered one of the most seriously flawed, with a distinct chance that the state would be putting an innocent man to death. That decision to allow the execution to go forward is looking worse and worse. Last week, the ACLU and Innocence Innocence Project released the results of DNA testing that was requested prior to Lee's execution, but was only permitted to go ahead after a lawsuit was filed by Lee's sister last year. Those results demonstrated that another man's DNA was found on the murder weapon, a wooden club, and on a shirt that had been wrapped around the murder weapon. The unknown man's DNA, however, was not found in the FBI's National Criminal Database. Five sets of fingerprints found at the scene of the crime that did not belong to Lee were also entered into a national database but also yielded no results. The Arkansas State Crime Laboratory has yet to test those fingerprints against its own database. Six hairs from the scene were also tested. Lee was excluded as the source of five but could not be excluded as the source of the sixth, though such mitochondrial DNA profiles may be shared by thousands of individuals in a given population, the Innocence Project noted. You guys, that is so significantly beyond reasonable doubt um, that that it's very clear an innocent man was executed by the state of Arkansas in their haste to dis- to not allow lethal drugs from expiring. I again, I mean, it just like that actually makes my stomach churn to say. Um, that's just tragic. That is, I I don't even know what to say. You guys, imagine if that was your loved one. Um, shame on Arkansas. We need to abolish the death penalty. Uh, I, you know, these stories come out far too often for it to be considered at all legitimate. 